think I like to think of it as a collaboration and a conversation. Um, Matthew and I have been friends for a long time. Um, he's a musician, works a lot with ambient and electronic music. And um, I, my background, I'm an artist and a sculptor. And um, about halfway through the pandemic, we had the opportunity to uh, kind of do a socially isolated uh, getaway. And we had both had had respective projects that we were working on. And I proposed to him that we could have these projects be in a conversation during the course of the, our lockdown. A gradual kind of sharing of ideas and realizing that the music that I was working on, the pieces that Jesse was working on, there, there was a commonality with them. Um, and uh, I think they, they naturally complemented each other. So as we got deeper into uh, my home recordings and Jesse's pieces, we started to fine tune them and um, kind of give them more direction. I was trying to realize a group of sculptures that were meant to articulate balance and space and think about mostly relationship. And so we kind of spawned that idea a year ago. I guess organically from there, uh, there just started to be this conversation about how can these pieces live together um, and how can we collaborate from a distance. Most of my work ends up being something that utilizes a lot of um, industrial fabrication or kind of commercial um, uh, means of altering and creating material. But then I think the idea of the work ends up speaking always to this um, very important kind of vital relationship we have with nature. And I think this year um, what was interesting to me was the, the kind of pandemic sort of highlighted our fragility and our sort of balance with nature and the work was kind of trying to articulate that. I see music as medicine um, in, in a big way and you know for me uh, that's that's a major outlet that I go to to find that space to find to kind of get lost a little bit um, and enter into a different realm uh, and yeah, I think, I think the deeper you go into that realm, the more spacious it gets. And I, I think interesting things come out of that solitude. The work, a lot of it was even fabricated in a local metal shop. Um, and it was fascinating as I produced the work to articulate a balance of relationships in a year where we had a global pandemic, we had an election, we had very polarized political, social, and emotional views. And the people that helped me create the work, you might even say, were the elements on the other side of the balance. And we built a relationship as elections and conversations took place that mimicked the same things that the, the, the work kind of ends up doing. Seeing it go from a conversation to uh, these pieces start to come to life was was pretty cool as we're just you know both in isolation and you know this <laughs> This is about as exciting as life got lately <laughs>